As designers, there is one thing we can all relate to, that one thing we all try and avoid, that one thing we all hate to experience that gets in the way and causes us much anxiety, that little menace, creative block. How do we overcome this and get rid of it? Over the years, I have noticed that this seems to be an extremely common question in the design community. Every webinar I watch to all the Q&As, this question seems to pop up a lot. In this video, I'll be answering a question from Simone, who asks, What do you do when you lose your creative flow? I've had days when I just stare at my screen, knowing I have work to do, but just don't know how to start, because I have this creative block. Now, it's not often I lose my creative flow, and I rarely experience creative block. And there's a good reason for this, which I'm going to get into in this video. And I'll also be discussing ways that may help you if you sometimes experience this. Now, my conclusion is that creative block is the consequence of one or a combination of four things. One, exhaustion. Two, lack of insight and ideas. Three, lack of inspiration. And four, need time to digest. Now, if you're watching this and experiencing creative block, then I imagine you probably suffer from one of these four. So in this video, I'm going to discuss what you can do if you suffer from one of these four challenges. One, exhaustion. So chances are, if you're having creative block, it could be because you're overworking yourself and you've hit a wall. In this case, the consensus here is to simply take a break. Being creative and pushing your mind to generate ideas can be quite demanding. Don't just push through for the sake of it to make yourself feel like you have achieved something or like you're being creative. It's a waste of time. Don't work hard, work smart. Accept that you are tired and step away from the computer. Try to take your mind off the work and recharge your batteries. After a few hours or even a good night's sleep, you can return fully motivated and fresh. Now, if you're full of energy, raring to go, and you still suffer with creative block, this could be down to other reasons, which I think are more common, especially amongst new and young designers. And for me, this is where it gets more interesting. Two, lack of insight and ideas. Now, don't mistake creative block for lack of creativity. Chances are you have all the potential, just not the direction. If you find yourself looking at a blank canvas, not knowing what to create or where to start, then this may be a consequence of just not having much of an idea or understanding the subject matter of what you may be working on. If you're trying to force an idea and can't think of one, then you may feel you are experiencing creative block. Creative block is simply the lack of ideas or knowing what to do. If you knew what to do, you would not have any block. So to overcome this is to take a step back and take more action to learn, research and discover. And as a result, ideas will sooner or later show themselves to you. Now, I'm an advocate that good design has meaning and should be based on good reasons and answers to complex questions put forward by a brief. As a designer, you are solving problems and you will want to produce the right answers to the questions. It's rare that ideas, especially profound ideas and fresh ideas will just pop into your mind. As a designer, you want to avoid making arbitrary design and making things up as you go along. As I said earlier, I rarely experience creative block and this is because I always put a lot of time and energy into research, development and planning before attempting to develop creative work and solutions on the computer. I always aim to generate and discover a good idea or a bunch of ideas I want to take forward and have a master plan before getting onto the computer to do the artworking to bring them to life. So what I always like to have in place before creating work is one, a good idea or a few ideas, two, a master plan, and three, a decisive direction. These three things guarantee that when I come to the computer, I already have in mind exactly what I need to tackle. So I rarely experience block. So if you're experiencing creative block due to the lack of ideas, then you can take steps to overcome this. One, accept that you are stuck and don't have an idea. Two, take a step back from the creating part of the project. Three, go back to the research and discovery phase. Four, Put time into research and learn as much about the subject matter as possible. Five, from what you have learned, seek to connect the dots to unearth ideas. Six, plan what you need to do, what you are going to do, and what you will want to achieve. And seven, this will present a decisive direction which will keep you motivated. 
In the process of doing all this, ideas may start to jump out at you. Capture these ideas and make a note of each until you feel you have exhausted your research and understanding. With ideas in hand, you can then take them to the making table. You'll find that before you start an artwork and create, you will have several ideas you will want to explore. Then as you explore and develop these, more sparks will fly, and soon you will have the trouble of having too many ideas instead of too few. Now, on occasion, you may know everything there is to know about the subject matter and still not have an idea or how to approach a solution. If this is the case, then you may be suffering from another common creative block issue. Three, lack of inspiration. Another common struggle for designers is having an idea but struggling with how to implement it. If you are struggling with how to implement your ideas creatively, then I would recommend undertaking more visual research. If you are struggling with a particular creative problem, then it may help to look at how others have tackled the same or similar problem. Remember, this is not to copy, but to take inspiration. Seeing what others have done can often inspire options which have not been done, which you can explore and develop into a more fresh and alternative route. Remember, you want to spend this time learning, discovering and getting inspired by what you see. Hopefully through visual research, it should inspire you. So if after doing your research and doing your visual research, there is still no idea that comes to mind, then it could be the case where you need a little time to digest everything you have. Four, need time to digest. Now the ideas generation process cannot be rushed. This is why it's wise to allocate adequate time to discovery and creativity and not put too much pressure on yourself to deliver ideas on the spot or at a specific time. Just like we need to digest our food to absorb its nutrients, so do we need time to digest the information we receive to absorb the nutrients in information to create. We need time to both find information and inspiration and to digest information and inspiration to create. Typically, when I'm working on a project, I will spend a lot of time researching, learning and discovering and not put too much pressure on myself to come up with an idea quickly. I'll generally allow myself a few hours or even days to digest what I have learnt and then, without intention, an idea will come to me. It is common amongst designers who expose themselves to lots of information to have some of their most bright and creative ideas when they are not trying or even thinking. So before you sit down to start creating design on your computer, ask yourself, what are my goals? What's my master plan? And what are my ideas I want to develop? Make sure you have adequate answers to these questions. If you don't, then chances are you may run into creative block. Make sure you are well prepared before you start creating design on the computer. Remember, planning is key. So if you ever have creative block, take down the following list, pin it up, and go through it, and I hope it will guide you to greener pastures. Suffering with creative block. Don't just push through for the sake of feeling like you are achieving. Don't put unnecessary pressure on yourself as anxiety will kill creativity. Don't mistake creative block for lack of creativity. Chances are you have all the potential, just not the direction. Except you are stuck. Take a step back and rethink your approach. Undertake further research on your subject matter to learn and discover. Undertake adequate visual research and give yourself time to digest. So what are your thoughts on creative block? Do you have anything else to add and how to overcome creative block? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comment section and if any of you have any other questions regarding design, be sure to pop them in the description or email me at creative at garethdavidstudio.com and I'll look to get back to you with a thorough answer. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button as there will be more design Q&A videos like this in future. Until then, have fun guys and I'll see you next time.